go. We're gonna run into it for the environmental friendly people out there. So yeah guys, if you wanna check this place out, just hop on the server, more of quarterback and as I said, and yeah, you can use every single vehicle here. Also the trucks here, pretty cool. They all got like trailers, you even got one with a car on it. Pretty cool. So yeah, I just don't wanna don't wanna bore you guys to death with all these vehicles, but there are quite a lot as you can see. And also let me know if you wanna see me doing a tutorial on one of these vehicles because I really wanna get into vehicle tutorials again. But I just don't know what I don't know what you guys wanna see. Do you wanna guys do you guys wanna see a a bus, a not a truck tutorial, you know, a trailer one? Look at this dump truck. I'm already gonna say I'm not gonna tutorial I'm not gonna do a tutorial on this dump truck because uh, it's pretty crazy. It is huge and it has loads of things and parts and I will forget everything. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you like this video and hop on the server, get yourself a caught wagon and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye guys, take care. and then went ahead and made a load of car designs as well so I thought I'd showcase them as well I actually made a build school on how to make cars a long time ago so you might see some similarities but there are some cool ideas in this showcase as well all right let's get straight into it so as you can see we've got a bunch of vehicle designs they're not just cars they include jeeps trucks race cars motorbikes that kind of thing so let's get straight into it this is the very stereotypical design and i'll kind of be pointing out some of the features of what make a simple design work now the main thing on these cars is this slab and wheel design functionality that goes down so you always start with four wheels and then slabs to connect them and that race it up half a block and you get that functioning car look everything you do on the top is what the variation produces so this is just a very similar design as the first one but it's got a different color scheme and that's what you need when you're like on a town surface trying to fill it with cars and stuff you just use the same recipe and add different designs this is more of an army jeep i actually really really enjoy this design it's got a nice use of anvils for the engine or the grate at the front or whatever you want to call it you've got certain wheels which are normal then you've got a good use of the staircase and sandstone as a block in general it's got that sort of army feel to it even though it is technically stone we've got a nice race car here bright red you could in fact even take out the middle and put a bed in there and have that in a child's bedroom just as a little idea and it's a very very simple design overall nothing that really stands out you could in fact improve that quite a lot with a few basic additions we've also got some motorbikes i didn't really understand this one but uh they insisted to keep us in here you can actually sit in it it's like a batman sort of deal it doesn't really look like a motorbike to me but uh, I kept it in because, you know, it's Scotty's designs, not mine. Uh, this is a nice bending truck, so you can actually get in there if you decided to add a door in the back. You wouldn't have a lot of space, but there is enough for a chest or maybe two. And then you can't really throw things through, so you probably have to delete that bit up the top. Uh, it's not particularly functional, but you can easily edit it to be functional in general. I would add a door on the back, possibly an iron one or a birch one, it's, you know, up to you. And you can make sure that you've got this nice overhang using string to hold up the carpets, along with some end rods, or perhaps you would rather use uh, some iron fence. So that's the beauty of these designs, you don't have to use wool, you don't have to use birch, you can change the blocks to suit your needs. So if you were making an ice cream truck, you might want to choose cars over something to make it like a dark truck, go to the leather brick. Next up is a garbage truck, is what you would call it in America. In the UK we call it a bin lorry or something similar to that dustbin men, that kind of thing. In the back we've got some console and some rubbish or garbage or whatever you want to call it. And it's a very, very simple design, still on that bed or hard slabs integrated into the wheels themselves. You've got a nice steam coming out of the top, it's a very old fashioned truck, it doesn't exactly look like this, but you get the idea which is the main thing. I love the fact that there's an anvil under the bonnet of this truck. The fact that there's a nice shape behind the quartz in the shadow, it just gives a very subtle detail that you might not have noticed if I didn't even point it out. But it is there and it is very nice touch to this design. Next up is a bit of a strange truck. It's got the name of this stuff. I don't think there's anything down there. I think one of the slabs is really 